Hello and welcome back to Jenna Gets Creative. Today I am doing part one of my review and completion of the Briar My Dream Horse kit. Uh, this is a set of three stablemate horses. This is the smallest size that Briar makes, but they are the same material that they always use. For comparison, here is a traditional size Briar horse. This is Hidalgo, if you recognize him. And that's the size comparison, just so nobody is surprised. This kit comes with three acrylic paints, one ounce each, a tiny little brush, and this color mixing marking guide. So first, uh, in this part of the video, I am going to try something completely unconventional on the foal, and then I'm going to clean them off and test out these paints. I'm pretty sure that they are going to be crap, because I... Uh, I have done briar kits in the past, and these are always like the lowest quality acrylic paints ever. So I said unconventional, I decided to try and see if maybe I could color him with alcohol markers. The briars that are sold completely finished, they're actually done with an airbrush. So they have a very smooth, very detailed finish that you're just not going to get brushing on thick, cheap acrylic paint. I was hoping this would work. It really, really doesn't. It ends up blending with itself and flowing and you get weird inky outlines in patches. So I had to remove it. I diluted it with a colorless blender and then cleaned them down with some rubbing alcohol. But it was it was an interesting experiment, something I've always wanted to do, and I'm glad I did it. <laughs> and I got it out of my system. I I'm curious if uh, any of you know of other ways I could finish one of these horses that's not acrylic paint, because that is what I'm going to resort to in part two. I'm going to use the acrylic paints that I own, not the stuff that came with the kit, and uh. I, I'm not so sure it's going to be much better than the paints this came with. <laughs> so let me know. Thank you, by the way, to everybody who was interested in seeing this kit. I, uh, last week, when I was getting ready to put out my first video for the Thursday review slash tutorial slash crafting videos in my new upload schedule. I did ask several Amino communities whether or not you wanted to see my review of the Figma figures or this, and some of the communities were really really keen to see this, but when I added up all the numbers the Figmas had two more votes. But that did show me that a lot of you are really interested in this, so I definitely made an effort to get this video out next for the Thursday videos. So here we go, cleaning them off. I tried to just clean them off with the rubbing alcohol first and it wasn't getting through so then I went in with a colorless blender. I used a cheap Touch New blender instead of a Winsor Newton one or any of those more expensive brands just because I, I don't want to waste the good thing on an experiment. <laughs> So here we go, trying out the paints it came with. You will notice, uh, if you 
pay attention to that uh, coloring guide it gave us. It shows us a whole spectrum of natural horse colors, including buckskin, which is my absolute favorite. But they have only given us this, I, I believe it's an ochre shade, and a black and a white. Well, I don't care how much white you mix into this, you are not going to get that nice buttermilk tan color that you need for a buckskin or a buttermilk done. So, uh, just to prove my point, I mixed white into that brown as the coloring guide suggested, and I got basically a Caucasian flesh tone. <laughs> Not so pretty, but went with it, put on the paint to demonstrate what it ends up looking like. It goes on streaky and thick. If I were to put on enough coats that it wasn't streaky, it would be really, really puffy. It would start to look like a plastic toy. It would lose the details in the, the carving work on this figure. And uh, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I figured would happen. That's what did happen when I did a similar kit from Briar as a teenager. I uh, compensated for it by intentionally uh, doing a spongy effect and trying to make it look like it had fur. And then my grandfather sprayed it with some sort of sealant from his wood shop, and I, I, I played with it, I displayed it, but you could tell it was done with subpar materials. By the way, once I finish actually doing all three horses with better materials, I will put those videos out and I will make a playlist so that you can watch it in order really easily without, you know, searching through things. <laughs> if you like these crafting videos, let me know. I'd like to know what sort of content you want to see in these Thursday videos. As mentioned, Thursday videos are for product reviews, tutorials, and crafts. I'd like to know well, what my audience is most interested in seeing. Now here the paint is dried and I accidentally got some other color onto it and I went to wipe it off and when I wetted it down to wipe off the new paint, the supposedly dry paint started coming off too. So if you can wash this, wipe this away with water, how is it supposed to survive being played with? This, this is a kit marketed at kids, of course they're going to play with it. So yes, you can spray it down and seal it, and hopefully that's not going to dry sticky or anything like that. But, like, yeah, crappy paint. I ended up taking this linseed-based studio soap and some paint thinner and washed them all down. So as I said, I will try him again with my own paints. I will eventually paint all three horses, and uh, looking forward to that. For the kit with the materials it came with, I rate this like, eh, I don't know, 4 out of 10. You can do it, you can probably have a lot of fun with it, especially if you're a kid. But the paint is crap, the paintbrush is crap, it's also really, really short. I threw those pieces out, I will be using the horses that came with it, and only the horses that came with it to complete them in future videos. So if you liked this, if you'd like to see what happens with the horses after, hit like, hit subscribe, join me on my art journey. I uh, reply to your comments, so comment down below, I love reading them, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!